Hello again. I just wanted to share this quick video um, of my Zin EZM2 GSG9 box set model. I know I've reviewed this watch before, but what I didn't include with that video was the box it actually came in, which is what sets this watch apart from the other models. This is a normal Zin box. This is what you'd get if you order a Zin today you'll get one of these box, boxes, cardboard, outer, and a nice standard kind of watch box. Nice padding, nice emblem on top, perfectly adequate. But this is the box this came in. This is like a small aluminium briefcase type with the Zin logo and the EZM below. It's stunning. This, I once contacted Zinn and asked how many of these models were actually made and they couldn't clarify it for sure but they said around about 120. And I remember when I first started working in Germany back in the late 90s, I remember going, doing a bit of, sh you know, just, um, just shopping on a Sunday, just looking around. There was one jewelry shop and it actually had this box inside it opened up and I thought, that looks amazing. Though at the time, I'd never heard of Zinn. I wasn't really into, well, I liked watches, but I didn't have the knowledge I have now about them. And then eight years later, I managed to find one on eBay of all places in Japan, won it and got it. And that was, uh, yeah, quite some time ago. Inside, this is one of the very first edition ones. So it comes with a lovely VHS tape, which I don't think I've ever played. <clears throat> a Zinn signed little LED flashlight, which you, uh, which actually I've took the batteries out of so they don't corrode. The original end links, because I've actually customized a set of solid end links on this. The Zinn screwdriver, which, to be fair, you get on, um, I don't know if I'll quite get in focus, actually got a Zin on there. Um, you get that with most new models. A rubber silicon bracelet with a Zin embossed buckle, which I've never actually mounted to the watch. Um, maybe one day I should. Um, and all of this, all in Japanese. I can't read any of it and the guarantee card um the watch was actually when was this 2005 this watch is was sold so that's the first one and then something else in japanese to be fair i don't even know what that's about and these are all service receipts i've kept in this box for myself later Zinn actually made a new version of this with a DVD. Um, Zinn were good enough when I contacted them um, to send me this DVD, so it was actually nice to know what the heck that was on that video. And it also came with a knife. Um, if I open this up, I don't know if you can quite see on there, that is the GSG-9 ceramic knife. Um, nice, but to be fair, it's stays in the box, I never never use it, so that's that. And obviously the watch would be placed in here. Uh, I think it normally would, yeah, it come on the rubber and the bracelet is normally set out there. But there you go, that is the um, box set. That's what sets this one apart. It's, it's all cosmetic really, to be fair, but it's really, really nice. Um, and something you don't see very often, so. There you go, that is the EZM2 GSG9 with its actual box set so you can see the difference. Okay, hope you enjoyed, bye.